All right, first off, I'm not Steve Carell. Let's move on. Can I do my act now? Michael Scott laughing. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, he does look like him. I was uh, recently doing a show in Reno, Nevada. If you've never been there and you love the smell of urine, you should go. I, uh, I was performing, they had their big unemployment and obesity festival there. And uh, I'm making small talk with the guy, I'm checking into the hotel and we're just making small talk. And he's like, so where'd you come in from? And I said, Los Angeles, California. Here comes the dumb comment all Californians get. You ready? California? <laughs> Just a matter of time before California has the big earthquake, breaks off and falls into the ocean. I said, yes, because luckily all the state's borders are perforated. Uh, all right, it's not a coupon. It doesn't just tear off exactly at Nevada. People in Arizona are like, whoa, crap, we almost fell into the ocean. It's like, dude, learn something about geometry. All right. Um, I'm just doing a smart crowd for a Friday night. All right. What's up, Ben? That's good. I, was doing a I did a show here a week ago, right? I'm hanging out afterwards, and this uh, boyfriend-girlfriend couple come up to me afterwards, and the girl says, you're really funny. We were wondering, who are some of your favorite comedians? So I tell her who I like, and then I said, who do you guys like? The girl says, quote, well, my boyfriend really likes Dennis Miller, but some of his jokes are so smart. To understand him, you practically need a thorax. <laughs> Sure, thorax might help you. Maybe some antenna. <laughs> as long as we're naming parts of the ant. That's a special kind of stupid, right? Because ironically, you don't know what a thesaurus is, but you're gonna pull thorax out of the air. All right, go with that. That helps you. I'm glad the festival's this week. Had the festival been uh, a week or two ago, I would have had to miss. I've never missed a show in my life, but I had some crazy allergic reaction to something. My face was real swollen up, no pain. But I go to the doctor, she gives me a steroid shot, a prescription, and she's like, give it a day or two. And I asked my doctor, hey, what do you think caused this? My doctor said, quote, could be anything. <laughs> wow, what do I owe you for that diagnosis, doc? Uh, you wanna try a little harder here? Open up one of these medical books? Google, humor me, come on, try. First off, once you're a doctor, you never get to say ever again, all right? <laughs> I found it odd out of all the jobs in the world, the medical profession is the one you can get away with the words, could be anything, right? You're shopping for a new car. You're out there in the car lot. Here comes the sales guy. Hey, what kind of car is this? <laughs> could be anything. <laughs> could be a Lamborghini, might be a minivan. I don't know, leave me alone. <laughs> You're having dinner here tonight. Waiter walks by, excuse me, what is this pasta stuffed with? It's really good. <laughs> could be anything. <laughs> Chicken, beef, toenails, I don't know. Leave me alone. Went into a Wendy's the other day. We didn't do the drive-thru. I went in the restaurant and I'm standing in line. I'm waiting to order and there's a woman in front of me. She's like, yeah, can I get the bacon western cheeseburger? Whatever. Guy behind the counter says, uh, sure, man. Would you like to make that the combo? It was like this lady had to choose a college all of a sudden. She was like, the combo? <laughs> all right, it's not Sophie's choice. Do you want it or not? It's not that hard, all right? Finally, she says to the guy, I don't get it. What comes with the combo? I just snapped. I'm like, hey, green card, hey, what you, Brussels sprouts and Ovaltine. What do you, is this your first day in America? How many things go with a hamburger in 2016? Oh, the combo, what that is, that's a burger with crackers and gum. It's our, it's our burger cracker gum combo. There's no drink. We call it our dry mouth special. It's not that popular. People are stupid. You all right, you wanna lie down, you okay? A friend of mine had a party on 4th of July weekend, right? And uh, he's in Redondo Beach. I call him up. I'm like, I'm on my way. What should I bring? Beer, chips, what do you need? He goes, nah, we're pretty good. But do me a favor. All the women here, they're asking for donuts. Can you stop by Krispy Kreme? Donut party. <laughs> Let's get bloated. All right. <laughs> I'll go get it. So I go to Krispy Kreme. It's like 8.45 at night. I'm the last customer of the day. I'm the only guy left. It's just me and uh, Mrs. Cream, whatever her name is. <laughs> And I'm polite. I'm like, yes, could I get uh, two dozen glazed? And she says, is that for here to go? <laughs> yeah, here. And do you sell insulin too? Uh, 
where can I plug in my defibrillator, all right? Because I'm gonna eat 24 donuts right now, all right? Here's my cell phone, dial 911, and just hover over the call button, all right? Keep an eye on me. Enjoy the rest of the festival, everybody. Thanks so much. I'm Lou Santini, have a good night.